Hello, I'm Hubert Escafe, the WTO Chief Statistician. Last year, OECD and WTO decided to join a fault and produce a database to measure trade in value added. Why? Is that today products are no more made in a single country. They are actually made in the world, assembled perhaps in a single country, but using parts and components coming from all around the world. On January 16th, we present the preliminary results of this joint effort. It covers about 40 countries, industrialized and emerging. Many data are available, but let me just highlight three main results. The first one is that the share of services double when measuring trade in value added, and its content will reach 45% of world trade. Actually, manufacturing decreases by 30 percentage points because the commercial value of manufactured product includes a lot of services. The second point is that imports make exports. To be successful in your export promotion, you need to be able to access competitive imported components. And this is especially true for developing countries. Finally, bilateral trade balances are resized. Let's take the example of the US. Some balances will change sign. For example, South Africa has a small deficit with the US when we compute balances in commercial terms. But in value added, South Africa has a small surplus with the US because South Africa produces primary product that will be transformed in third countries like the Europe or uh, China and then re-exported to the US. In other cases, bilateral balances are resized. The surplus countries like Canada and Mexico have with the US is reduced just because Canada and Mexico use a lot of US component in order to make their exports. And finally, the new figures attribute the exported value to the real country of origin. If the US deficit with China is reduced, for example, the US deficit with Japan and Korea will increase because Japan and Korea ship their components to China, which are therefore after that re-exported to the US. In the end, the total deficit of the USA is not affected by the new calculation, just the bilateral component are shifted. Our next step are to continue working with the OECD and other partners like ID, JETRO and USITC to increase the country coverage and have more detailed data. This is just a first estimate and we will improve on it.